Hi there, Lisa here from Green Fox Farms Designs. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial about how to make the crossed double crochet stitch. So as you can see, um, I've already worked up several of the stitches here and it leaves a nice little triangular opening um, in between the stitches. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Basically, we're just going to be making two double crochets and one of them is going to cross over the other. It's just as simple as that. Um, so to get started, um, this is where my stitches last worked. You can see the, um, the post going up here. So these are the two stitches we're going to be working in next. Um, I'm going to skip that first stitch and I'm going to work my first double crochet into this next stitch. So I'll make a standard double crochet. I will yarn over, insert my hook into the second stitch. I've skipped that first one. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And then I will do my double crochet. Yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two. So as you can see, we've got our first double crochet worked here. And now we've got this skip stitch. That's where we're going to work our next stitch into. We're gonna cross over the front of this first stitch and work right into that opening. So to make our double crochet, we'll yarn over, put our hook through this second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now we've got our three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through with the last two. And that is it. That's all there is to creating the cross double crochet stitch. Let's go ahead and work a few more of those so you can practice. So um, yarn over. Remember we're going to skip this first stitch here and work into the second stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops leaving us with two, yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. We have created a double crochet stitch and we've skipped this stitch here. So now we're gonna work back into that one. So yarn over, work into that skipped stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook now. We're going to yarn over again, pull through the first two, whoops. Yarn over again, pull through the last two loops and we've created our second double crochet. Because it's crossed in front of the other stitch, we have created a crossed double crochet. So let's go ahead and work one more of those. Yarn over, skip the next stitch, and work into the second stitch out. Insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through both loops in the front. Yarn over again, and pull through the second two loops. Here's our first double crochet. We're going to yarn over, working into that skip stitch. Insert the hook yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through those first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And there you have it, you have created another cross double crochet. So this is part of my hopscotch stitch. It combines the extended single crochet you can see here with the cross double crochet. So what I'm working on right here is my hopscotch mug cozy, which is a free pattern on my block. And I will go ahead and put a link to that in the comments, as well as um, a link to the extended single crochet tutorial and some of the other um, patterns that you can find the stitch combination used in. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it to be helpful, I would love if you would share a comment and let me know that you uh, were able to use the tutorial and learn how to create the stitch. And make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Happy hooking.